Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a brewery that I'm really excited to bring you guys. Uh, if you want to skip ahead to the review, please do, but I'll be talking about the brewery first. Uh, so the brewery is Suarez Family Brewery. This is a new brewery that just opened this summer. Uh, they're in Livingston, New York, which is about two hours north of New York City. And uh, it's a, a couple, a husband and wife couple that are opening up this brewery. And the husband is actually, has wonderful pedigree. He actually was a brewer at Hill Farmstead for three years. So uh, really cool to see uh, someone with that pedigree open up a brewery, especially in New York. And so the uh, first thing about the brewery is that they have a really interesting profile of the beers that they're going to be producing. And I think that's a very cool thing about, about new breweries to learn uh, what a brewery is inspired by and their influence and what beers are going to produce out of the brewery. So uh, they're planning to do one half uh, fresh uh, farmhouse ales and then also including uh, there is also mixed fermentation saisons which are barrel aged and going to take a little longer of time. Uh, the next quarter of their beers will be hoppy low ABV beers and then the last quarter will be hoppy unfiltered lagers and that's what we have here. This is small talk. There you go. Uh, shout out to my friend Scott who was at the brewery. So unfortunately I can't give you guys a brewery video but uh, he was at the brewery and this is small talk. So small talk is their unfiltered uh, hoppy lager 5.3%. And this is going to be inspired by German Keller beer, uh, which is Keller as in cellar. And so what Keller beer is, is basically, uh, I mean, there's two types, amber and pale, uh, but I'm assuming, yeah, this is the pale type. I actually have had this beer before. So this is a uh, pale. And so it's going to be inspired by, uh, it's pretty much young beer. So cellar as in they would have the beer in their cellars and it'd be unfiltered and young and they'd uh, pull directly from those cellars and then pour those beers out. But the base beers would still be either Munich Helles or Pils. And that's what we have here, unfiltered. So uh, despite being a, an unfiltered beer, it still is, you know, there's still a good amount of clarity to it. It's not you know, going to be milky, milky, cloudy. Um, it has a very light haze to it. I'd say a light haze, but then wonderful carbonation. You can see pulling up from the glass, wonderful straw color, um, just a lovely looking beer. Yeah, let's get the aroma on this. Mm, really wonderful. Yeah, uh, just reminds me of a nice hoppy lager, uh, almost leaning towards a little bit of pills, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, like a hoppy Munich Hellas on there, but... But yeah, to me, it's uh, mostly pills. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of Prima pills recently, so I'm sort of getting that. Um, wonderful kind of floral, uh, grassy character, really nice kind of uh, rich, grainy uh, malt character. But yeah, really wonderful, vibrant kind of grass character, along with that floral character. Little tinge of sweetness underlying it. Even like a little bit of density in that grainy quality. So you're not only getting uh, a little bit of breadiness, a little bit of graininess, but you're also getting maybe like those... Um, yeah, just like freshly cracked grain. So like even like uh, um, uh, like nine grain wheat bread and you just get those grains like chewing into them, uh, that density of that kind of grain character. But yeah, a little kiss of sweetness underlying it is really nice. Cheers. Mm. So as you drink it, despite the aroma, uh, this definitely leans a little bit more, uh, definitely leans like a um, Unichelis. It has a, a lot more restrained kind of hop character and bitterness compared to a pill. So I'd, I'd probably call this uh, leaning towards a little bit like Amunic Hellas, but really still nice and fresh and uh, vibrantly hoppy as well for Hellas. So up front, um, a little bit of grainy character, more of that kind of density of grains, a um, little kind of like chewy bread quality. Then you're, then you're moved on to a nice, again, more of that kind of hop quality that's on the aroma. More of this grass, more of this kind of floral character, maybe a touch of, um, uh, earthy and uh, yeah, a little bit more earthy and floral towards the finish. Wonderful carbonation to move uh, the beer along without being too prickly. Uh, the mouth feels nice and soft. Again, you also get a little bit of this kind of minerality kind of thing. Um, you know, I find the profile similar to the Hill Farmstead beers and the other beers that I've had from this uh, brewery. It almost leans towards a minerality, leaning towards this almost like salinity kind of thing. Definitely not like, uh, definitely no salt in there, but there's a little bit of this kind of minerality. It sort of like leans toward that, towards that kind of flavor that um, hits on the palate that the water has been treated. Pretty much all water for brewing has been treated, but you sort of see that essence coming through on the, on the palate uh, for this beer. And then as you wait more, it's just really nice and fresh. Again, the combination of like light kind of grainy qualities, a little bit of sweetness and breadiness, and then the medium uh, to medium plus leaning uh, hoppy quality is really nice. Again, it's sort of like a restrained pills, a little bit like a hoppy Hellas. Just beautiful, beautiful beer. Uh, very nice, just a great summer uh, crusher. Um, let's go with something like a 90 on this one. 90, there you go, uh, very enjoyable stuff. So this is 
Uh, uh, sorry, not Hill Farm said. Suarez Family Brewery, <laughs> small talk. Uh, this is their happy unfiltered lager. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had any Suarez Family Brewery. Really excited for this brewery. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.